Hi Taurus, um, yes Taurus, how are you and Happy New Year to you too and we are in the first week, the first day, the first month and the in the new year. I did shake the cards before I started but just to show you that I do shake the cards every time I have done a reading uh, I'm doing it sometimes I do it on screen and sometimes I do it on off screen so uh, that's why I just wanted to show you and also to all the new cyber angels if you have subscribed and hit the bell then you're a cyber angel and um, that I do shake the cards every time and I do not select them okay and welcome to all the new cyber angels and all my cyber angels I hope you have a beautiful year ahead I'm using the Light Seers Tarot and also the Dreaming Way Tarot. First of all, this is the reading for the 3rd to the 9th of January 2022. You come in with the Page of Wands, so you could be getting news, obviously, um, as the Pages and Knights stand for news. This news can be about a new hobby, a new passion, that could be a hobby or a person. That can also stand for action. Action means taking action onto something. Um, also um, <clears throat> work, this could be career orientated, but also trying to plan things, taking action and making plans, making the, putting the plans out into the material world, um, like buying a house, getting a loan, getting a job, uh, partnering up with somebody, you could be getting news, you could be getting an invitation, anything like that. It could be about a child, you could be finding out you're pregnant and this could literally be a Leo. But the page does stand for Sagittarius, so perhaps you might have got pregnant in Sagittarian time and you've just found out you're expecting because in nine months time it will be um, Leo or um, perhaps Virgo. Okay, so um, that said, that's the overall energy. Um, this could also be news about a restart in a business, or having a second chance, so restarting, or in a relationship as such, <coughs> whether it's romantic or whether it's business. There is a rebirth, also a new beginning. Also, again, you have, you've got a lot of fire here and water and air, but most prominently fire, because you also have the Knight of Wands, so that's Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So there is a fiery energy, there is things happening very swiftly, right from the start, um, Perhaps we can trying to uh, reconcile or um, a restart your, and this is in the first week, but you're coming into action definitely slowly, but steadily in the first week, but fiery and fiery and swiftly in the second week. Also, this could be one of your dreams. The page of cups is Pisces. So you could be very intuitive also because we've just had the new moon. On the second, um, perhaps you're dreaming or wishing for new love, like here you see the hands of new love. And with this card in this deck, I say, don't build castles in the sky. So don't, you might be up in the air on cloud nine or 11, who knows, because of this new start or this second chance, but stay realistic. You know, don't build castles in the sky because pigs don't fly either. We've got a little pink pig here. I just love that little, that little pink pig. So keep it realistic, your dreams and your goals. Be realistic, especially when you have a restart or reconciliation. Talk, get clarity, get uh, the truth out. Know what each other's boundaries are, especially with fire signs. You have to know your own boundary and the other's boundary because you don't want to get burnt or burnt out. And this is highlighted with the King of Swords. He it stands for transparency, truth, justice, 
um, also clarity he is the king of swords the king of swords means communication wisdom gaining wisdom so that you can understand uh, each other if you if this is about a partnership or also if it is about a, a job or financial things like that then be straight to the point be clear about it and discuss it communication let the others know what you're wishing for if it's applying for a loan for instance why do you need the loan you want to buy a house or a car boom be clear and also be wise don't let everybody um, know how wise you are but use your wisdom you've got the owl here so use your brain that is your strength also um, have a very clear perspective on what you want and why you need it sell yourself like the Gemini, the Gemini can sell ice cubes to Eskimos, so sell yourself and your ideas. Wow. Okay, and Taurus, you are amazing because you have been improving and uh, coming out of your shell. You're as sharp as anything. I think this could be about work or an investment as you've got the Knight of Pentacles. This could also be a long-term relationship that you want to start up again uh, because the pentacles stand for uh, long-term tangibility and durability. You want this relationship to be durable and to um, stay and be alive for long-term um, with passion, with love. Also, um, it has to be able to go through the rough times um, if you go through rough times and you stay together and you communicate clearly and transparently then it will stand the time rough times okay you could be dealing with a taurus a virgo or a capricorn well you're going to have victory um if so long you know each other's boundaries okay this news is going to be good news because the knights stand for news and the pentacles and the knight of pentacles also financial news so yes if you talk to each other about it or with a bookkeeper because he the king of swords represents institutions and municipalities that's governmental institutions this could be the tax office this could be the bank this could be the accountant or the bookkeeper then if you do discuss this then you will bring in uh, the victory because you've got the six of wands the six of wands means that you're the champion, you're the victor. You can go on to the next level or you might be going on to the next level. Um, this can also be the lawyer if you're considering back, coming back together, <coughs> whether it's career, business or a relationship. <coughs> Sorry. Um, definitely this could also be the justice of the peace or seeking a pre premarital uh, agreement. Uh, you might need to do that so it, that you cover each other in um, times of difficulties like if some one of you get ill um, um, then uh, things are covered this could also be the insurance broker like if you have your own business and you break a leg for instance um, then uh, your business won't go down and under because your other partner is covered um, and authorized to do the business that you do as well. So again, 50-50 I hear, you will have the power of a uh, attorney to do the banking, to do the book um, bookkeeping, to go to the bookkeeper or the accountant. This is definitely good money. So don't burn, uh, burn out. This could also mean that um, you have wisened up and you're ready to take on more tasks, but you have to maintain the balance okay you could be um, getting a vehicle uh, because the steed um, is a horse so nowadays it could be a motorbike or a car so you could be buying a, a delivery van let's say if you've got a business you might be delivering uh, takeaways or something like that you I feel there is an addition going into your business especially if you're catering or selling food if you might have a web shop because this is the air sign okay 
you're getting a different perspective. Look at the crow looking down and looking at the bat in the back. There's, there's something to do with a um, workshop or a web shop, something that you're selling on internet. You are being seen, okay? And it will bring recognition. Could be getting more clients uh, in the second week. Wow, they've heard about what you're selling in, and your services and they're crazy about it. It's going to bring in money for long term. This is definitely a new beginning. You could be thinking of expanding into uh, the cyber world because this coin is in mid-air. Um, also, the Ace of Pentacles means, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn could be bringing in big money if you have been clear and being precise. You've got the knowledge. You know what to do. You've got that loan. Also, in romance, this could be definitely good news so long you know each other's boundaries and you respect each, each other's boundaries, whether it's about financial situation, perhaps there was arguments prior that you broke up because of a financial situation. Now you're in the positive position to start up again and for a long term. And you will um, have, um, how do you call that? A return on what you invest. It is like I said, you have to find the balance. Don't be in the clouds. You've got to be transparent and you've got to be down to earth, okay? You've got to follow your heart and you have to be clear. You have to talk to each other. This is the communication card. You can't be infatuated all the time. It, the infatuation, the in love will has to turn into real love. Then it will last. Again, you might be finding out that you're pregnant. You've got the page here and you've got a page here. The page of the cups is Pisces. This is Gemini. Um, this is Sagittarius. And you've got all the earth signs here. And you've got the Empress, which is Libra. So definitely the Empress is again uh, is sowing seeds. If you've already sown seeds, then you could be harvesting or you could hear of a birth. This can be of a project, this can be of a child, but she nurtures a, a project like a child. Now, underneath the, the deck I've been shoveling whilst I've been speaking, you've got number 16, so you've got number seven, luck is on your side. But something unexpected is going to happen. Perhaps you didn't expect that the other half, if you're separated, wants to come back and do a reconciliation. This is totally unexpected. Now, something wasn't built on proper foundations. And this is definitely confirming throughout the reading that you need to communicate. You need to be transparent. You need to be honest and not with your brain in the clouds. <laughs> Um, so you need to discuss something. This could be the lawyer or the mediator uh, or the arbitrator uh, in the discussions to, to get this new start off the ground, but building it on a solid foundation. This is what you've learned. You learn from the past. OK, build something on proper foundations. Now, take this as excitement and as an adventure by building it uh, again up from the ground, but on solid foundations. And you can be ambitious building, but don't forget, if you're ambitious, it's fine. But don't forget the people that love you and that are around you, that support you. This could be a couple, right? This could be a mother. This is a mother figure. This is a father figure. And they're lying underneath each other. So definitely build something on solid foundations and learn from the past, Taurus. You know what you want, find out what they want and find out how to do it by getting advice from a professional or somebody that's been there and done that. Wow, awesome. All right, I'm going to take this. Surrender to the magic of who you are. You can do it, Taurus. Love yourself and take care of yourself before you can love another or take care of somebody else. 
to, again, if you do partner up in business or in romance, you have to find the balance, okay? You have to be realistic and transparent. Now, we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Yes, you can't be with your head in the clouds and wishing, I wish this, I wish that. You need clarity, you need to come into action, and you need to be steady, but slowly, like the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life like um, you've got the mundane that might be boring and it might be um, um, in the wave of being down there's always an other wave up like this is coming down now it's time to start rebuilding and better okay remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you and it should be more than enough okay okay so start building up again right from the ground and make sure it's a proper foundation so that it is not in mid-air but with both feet on the ground and then the victory will be yours awesome now a romance card for the people that are seeking romance let your friends help you yes Ask your friends to help you if it is, uh, if you have to meet deadlines or if you need help, a listening ear because you are might be considering or they are coming back in and considering a reconciliation, then talk to somebody and ask what would you do and ask for and accept support from others. Now, if you can't trust your intuition, for example, because it's an emotional situation, uh, then seek professional advice, okay? What are the pros? What are the cons? And um, remember, <clears throat> why did they leave, ask this question, why did they leave you in the first place? Or why did the partnership break up? Was it because you weren't enough for them? And, or you didn't get the respect? Or you didn't, you didn't get... Uh, the right information as to what they were doing or what they wanted were you clear enough what was not enough and what how can you make that better now the second time round are you prepared to take them back you are here with that um, thought or with this situation think and talk to somebody about it before jumping in at the deep end, learn from the past. You must build it on solid foundations. Well, this is quite a message for the new year and in the first week. So I hope you can um, think it through and you get your answers. Take a quiet moment, sit in isolation like she is, think about it. There's also, I think, a book here of some kind she's like looking up and getting information eager to learn like the king of swords learn ask ask your parents or ask somebody that you trust and respect and love for their advice i hope this has resonates with you either in romance career or in general and have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign to get the bigger picture. Take care, stay safe and be blessed and a happy new year.